In this video, I'm going to be doing a print on the Ultimate 2 Plus using the 0.25mm nozzle, and I'll show you how to switch it over as well. Right, so if we go into the software, um, so this is Cura, and we'll drop in our STL file. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty tiny. Uh, we are going to scale it up a little bit. Um, I don't think it will cope with anything quite that small. Um, so we're going to make it 200%. Uh, you do that using the scale tool, like so. And there you go. Right, so now we need to change a few other settings. So we'll start by changing the layer height. As we want this to be a fine print, we'll go down to 20 microns. And the time will adjust accordingly, as you can see. And we're going to use the 0.25 millimeter nozzle. So we'll change that. And then that's brought up an error on the shell thickness because you want this to be a multiple of the nozzle width. So we'll change that to 0.5. And there you go. That's should all be ready to print. We'll, uh, we'll take a little look in the layers for you just to double check that everything's okay. Uh, this is always a good practice just to be sure that there's no discrepancies and nothing's going to go fatally wrong during the print. And everything looks pretty good. Um, so this is a really tiny print. Um, we've never done anything this small so it'd be really interesting to see how it does turn out. But looking at that view there, it looks like it's going to pick up most of his features, um, the nose and his eyes and the chin. Uh, it might even bring out the text, but it'll be interesting to see. Right, so if we just save that now, uh, the memorable name, so we remember it's a 0.25 nozzle, we'll put that on. And then we go over to the printer. First thing you want to do to change the nozzle is remove the material. This just ensures uh, you don't get any problems with blockages. Uh, so you remove the material and then click cancel, turn off the power, and this will allow you to move the print head into an easily accessible position. Now it's worth wearing gloves when you do this because um, the nozzle still might be a little bit hot. And you use the spanner provided to remove the old nozzle. And then we've got our 0.25mm nozzle to attach. And you can just screw that in by hand, like so. And then do the final little bit with the spanner. You don't want to over tighten it, but make sure it's nice and snug so we don't get any leakages. Then insert the SD card, select print, and select our file. Okay, so here's our finished print. As you can see, it's turned out really quite small, um, but it just shows you what you can achieve with the 0.25mm nozzle. Uh, it's picked up quite a few features on uh, his face, and it's even uh, attempted on the text on the base of the print. Just quite impressive, really. Um, if we tried this with a bigger nozzle, I think we would have just ended up with a, a big blob um, in the middle of the printer. Uh, but you can really see that um, using a 0.25mm nozzle, uh, could give you some great results. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.